All right, welcome into this Pillars Roundtable, where this week we're going to tackle a little bit of a different topic. We're going to look at the women's division, which has been talked about pretty extensively in the wrestling community over the last couple of weeks. But we want to look at maybe some of the stars who are on the verge of a breakout. So our question this week is what woman in the women's division has the best chance of becoming the next breakout star? We have uh, some of our pillars with us this week who are our usual suspects. We have Caleb, Shane, Rollins, and Wolf. And I'm going to go to Caleb first. Who is your breakout star in waiting for the AEW women? So my breakout star in waiting is honestly who I feel is the most obvious to a lot of people. It's Sky Blue. She's already generated a lot of media buzz, uh, albeit for the wrong reason. Now. On the flip side of that, she's put on an incredible uh, amount of growth in her short time in AEW. I mean, she's put on great matches with the former women's champ, Tony Storm. She pinned Tony Storm in the middle of the ring uh, for the people to see at home. That's a big thing. Uh, And as well, I mean, for somebody who was not comfortable whatsoever in front of camera just you know even as little as six months ago over the last six months she's come so far there's no reason she could not be the next tbs champ the next honestly women's champ she like i said she's already pinned a women's champion why not give her the big belt let her run with it she's young she has so much potential let's fill that unfilled potential and give her a full you know, a full ability to showcase it with the big title, make it fun, be bold, be brave, Tony Khan, do something different. That's who my person is. Shades, I'll toss it back to you. Do you have any thoughts on that one? Well, I want to ask you a question about Sky Blue, because if you'd asked me this question a month ago, I would agree with you. It seemed like Sky Blue was on a trajectory to win the Owen Hurt tournament. And then she lost in the semifinals to Ruby Soho. And then she lost again recently. It seems like that they pushed her, pushed her a little bit, and now she's coming back down. Do you think Do you think they got maybe a little gun shy, or do you think that they just were this is just all part of the plan for her? I, I think I, I actually believe the social media stuff that was happening was part of the reason why they had to bring it back on her. Because she was getting attention for the wrong reasons. That's not why any women sh- any any woman's wrestler should be getting attention her body is not the reason why she needs to be getting attention it needs to be what she is doing in the ring and what she's accomplishing in the ring and if anybody disagrees with that they can i'm not going to say it on here but y'all know what i mean uh so i'll go ahead and with that i'm going to pass it over to shane shane who's your person that you can build up in the aew women's division well, she's already been built, uh, uh, um, and and uh, I, I I don't want to say, hey man, like uh, I'm a I'm a gigantic punk rock guy, and I'm a I'm a rancid fan, and go oh, Ruby so Ruby is in terms of overall skill, she has the mouth, she has the physique, she has the skills, she's a fan, she's intuitive. Um, she's already had a decent run in AEW, but it seems like, um, creative and creative for her is, they're always placating to what's going on with her topically injury stories, not going through other people being injured that are in programs with her and her getting knocked down. Uh, uh, she is not a homegrown AEW person. She's she was Ruby Riot in NXT, and she had a decent run over there as well. And then she was fired as a part of the 2017 NXT re, uh, uh, wipe. But Ruby is, uh, in terms of the outcasts, let's talk. Let's talk about what's relevant now. Uh, unfortunately, the outcasts are a relevant faction in the women's division. Out of the three women in the outcasts, you have Soraya. You have. Uh, Tony Storm, who is also, uh, the, and you have Ruby Soho, three women that have all been in the Fed. Uh, but out of the three of them, you have s- someone that is so organically a professional wrestler, Ruby, who uh, talks better than all three women. She carries herself better. She and, and she's actually competing right now 
more than all three of them combined. She looked great in the Owen Hart tournament. I'm going to say that plain as day, both this year and last year. And her emergence in AEW was fantastic. She's had live band performances. She's had Rancid themselves step up and, 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 and give her entrance to to her matches during pay-per-views, man. I, I, um, it, it's hard for me to continue to see her look like a punk. Uh, and not like the punk that I enjoy, but look like a punk in the and how she's represented in this format of media, knowing that she is so capable. So, um, that, that and I could continue to talk this to death, um, but I'm not not today. I'm actually gonna pass it over to Wolf, man. Uh, Wolf, what do you think? Who's your pick, bro? You know, I really don't see anybody more talented and more dynamic than Julia Hart. I feel like if you want to talk about a complete 180 of a character and the creativity that went into that 180 of a character, you can't look any further. Julia Hart is not only the most talented and youthful wrestler on the women's division, I would even argue that she carries that throughout the entire AEW roster. You know, and... Caleb, you brought an interesting point. You, you had mentioned the TBS title. And, you know, every single woman that we mention here, I feel, is a great, you know, is a great competitor and would take that title convincingly. But I just want to point out that Julia Hart has been undefeated in AEW. And the last time she lost was against Chris Statlander last year on April 20th, 2022. So you got some history there. And I'm concerned that the TBS title might get a little stagnant, even though Statlander's beloved. We saw it happen with Jade. You got to defend that. You got to give these women storylines. And I think a Julia Hart, Chris Statlander storyline would be would be absolutely stellar. So now I'm going Julia Hart on this one, guys. How about you, Rollins? What do you got? I'm going to go with someone who was in the baddies and was associated with Jade Cargill for a while. That's Red Velvet. Um, sure, her matches didn't always click, you know, so the way they were meant to. I think she's got a lot of potential. It seemed like she was starting to find her group when she was part of the baddies, you know, and associated with Jade Cargill. And I don't think she would be a great baby face. But if you could build her up as a legitimate heel i think that would work great in the women's division maybe down the line you could do a feud between heel red velvet and a baby face sky blue that would be a good like mid card women's program something like that I'll throw yeah. it back to you shades yeah red velvet i think is a name that gets overlooked a lot she's very talented i think she has she could she could very easily be a, a face of this, you know, a, a player in this division. I just want to throw out one name that nobody's mentioned just very briefly before we end here. And that's Billy Starks. Um, I know she's kind of doing the indie rounds right now, kind of getting her, her stripes, which is the AEW training method. It seems, whereas the WWE has the performance center, AEW sends you out on the indies, right? So that's what, that's what Billy's doing right now. She's got a great look. She already has a following. She seems to have a good head for the business. I think Billy Starks is going to be a big star in AEW, and it's just a matter of time. So uh, I want to thank our pillars for joining us this week. We had a great discussion. Uh, we always love to feature the women's division. And uh, don't forget to follow us on social media. Uh, we're on YouTube. You can find us on Reddit. We have a Discord. All those links will be in the description of this video. Uh, so for our pillars, I'm Shades the Vibe. Thanks for listening. <laughs>